Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. My name is Chad Riveros and today I'm standing right next to Nuno. He's one of the big names in law real estate and today we are in their backyard, the Maysdal Eco Estate. They have allowed us to tour some of the most incredible homes in this estate and the one behind me definitely fits the bill. Nuno, thank you so much. I really appreciate you bringing us here once again. Tell me a little bit about the estate. Do you guys know it so well? So it's, it's a world-class estate in the south of Johannesburg. You literally have giraffes, you have buck on your doorstep. So what better place than being in South Africa and being with nature than being inside the Mazda Eco Estate. You don't have to drive all the way to the Kruger National Park. Um, you can literally just step outside, go for a walk, and you can say hello to giraffes on your doorstep. So it is the perfect estate. So yeah, enjoy a lifestyle of absolute luxury. Um, it's just a completely different lifestyle and I'm super excited that your viewers get to see this incredible estate and this incredible home that we have just listed. So enjoy, I will see you soon and welcome home. Thank you so much, take Cheers. care. And here we are inside another incredible home right here in the Maysdal Eco Estate. Coming through the front door, you find yourself in the entry hall. And it is an entry hall that without a doubt captures your attention. You've got three chandeliers hanging from the ceiling, all of them being crystal chandeliers, and a beautiful wood, stainless steel, and glass walkway leading up to the upper levels. Both on my left and on my right, you've got garage access with two car garages apiece. And in front of me, the first room of the house. So not only is there really nice decoration leading through the house as you walk from room to room, but right here within easy access of the front door, as well as the kitchen is your formal lounge. So there's a couple of features that I'm gonna go through in this formal lounge that carry on throughout the house. One is the air conditioning unit, and they are probably the fanciest air conditioning units I think we've ever seen, a beautiful one by Samsung, flanked by two ceiling speakers for your home entertainment system. That home entertainment system, as I did say, with along with the aircon, carries on throughout the whole house. Beautiful wood feature wall behind me, and then all the space for this to be a comfortable and yet still eye-catching formal lounge, but with one key feature and that is two doors that open outwards onto your yard area and that yard area comes equipped with a beautiful seating area that looks into the formal lounge stunning wood as well as weather cover so if it's a really nice day not what we're really dealing with right now you know you can walk outside kick back relax and enjoy the outdoors because that is what Mayersdale Eco Estate is all about you don't need to be indoors when you can rather sit out in your incredible garden and you're going to be wanting to do that when you see the pool later on in the video. But there's so much more of this house to explore, so come with me. Leaving the formal living room area, you carry on into the entry hall, which also has some really cool features. Number one is your guest bathroom is located halfway through the house. Easy access for any guests if you are into entertaining. But there's also a nice sitting area here with a beautiful circular table that dominates the center of the house down lighting and bulkhead ceilings that take advantage of the recesses for soft underglow from LED lighting. One of my favorite features has to be this glass enclosed wine rack, easy to display off your favorite bottles and in immediate access to where it's gonna be used most, which is at the dinner table. So here is your dining room area, both very large, but again, I love the decorations. Three chandeliers continues that design element we saw in the entry hall, draped above this very large dining room table, providing all the down lighting you might need. But we've got a double fireplace on the right hand side, recessed into a beautiful dark wall. On my left hand side, you have access to your lounge area as well as the guest bedroom, which we'll come to shortly. In front of me, sliding stackable glass doors leading out onto your outdoor dining area. And then on my right hand side is your kitchen and your bar, which we're also gonna be exploring shortly. But let's start off with the lounge. Let's talk about the guest bedroom. And then we're gonna be heading to the bar, the kitchen and the outdoors. 
And now leaving behind the formalities of the dining area, we come to your living area, your comfy spot. Perfect space for a TV room, it shares the air conditioning, the speakers in the ceiling, but this time a built-in entertainment rack consisting of a cupboard, racks for all your AV equipment, your sound system, and then space for your favorite LED television of choice. But also so much space here for different couch configurations. I love homes that are spacious enough for you to make them your own, but not so spacious that you feel like you're gonna get lost in them. Another really cool feature about this specific living room area is the window placement. So we've got a low down window there, we've got really high castle windows, and then nearly floor to ceiling windows all the way around with automated blinds, which I'll show you right now, hanging on the wall. Quick way to pull it off is your remote control. With just the press of a button, you get to close all the curtains, block out all the lights, and enjoy your favorite television show or movie. Another really cool feature, and if I bring you guys over here, I'll show you, is hanging this back on the wall. And this here is your panel for all of your smart home systems. This is for the air conditioning, and the one right over there is for your lighting and your sound. Really well equipped and really cool living room area. And behind me, that is the guest wing of the home. The only bedroom located downstairs. Let's take a quick look at it. Walking into your first bedroom, you'll see it is very well equipped, both with air conditioning, with your smart home systems, but with also lots of space. A TV fits comfortably on the wall, and I love the wood design elements, or at least decorations around the door frames and along the floor, showing off the beautiful light tiles. You've got a door that opens outwards onto a outdoor patio that runs the length of the home all the way to your sitting area that we showed you when showcasing the formal lounge. Obviously cupboard space comes included and is ample for a home or bedroom this size. And then an ensuite bathroom with a toilet, walk-in shower and single vanity. Now we get to explore the outdoor areas of this home before we come to the bar and the kitchen. And I've already spoken about the 10-seater outdoor dining room table with Polk surround sound built in. It is undercover very conveniently. But down the set of stairs, you come to your outdoor relaxation area. Surrounding this gas fireplace, you've got three couches with beautiful trellis just above it and a view of your room flow infinity pool, your cinema room, as well as your outdoor cooking area. But another really cool feature here, is there's a bathroom just behind this pillar. So opening up that door, you have access to a shower, a toilet, as well as a single vanity. On my right hand side, you can see a set of glass stacking sliding doors that open up onto a cinema room. So a lot of you might be asking me about a cinema room that is surrounded by stacking sliding doors. How's that gonna feel? Well, don't worry because there are motorized blackout curtains all the way around. And I think we're gonna start by showing that off. Let's go. And this is your cinema room. So again, to recap, three sets of glass stackable doors that open all the way up where you get to enjoy the outdoors, but they close up and hanging right here are your motorized blinds that run the length of the room and come down and block off all the light. From the ceiling right over there, drops down a panel and from that little trap door over there, I mean, it is very cool, very high tech drops your projector and you get to relax on one of these couches, tables in front of you, it's raised up on some carpets, which I also really like, and you get to enjoy your favorite movie. Plug points built in for fridges, you've got this whole area here for all of your AV equipment. So I love the use of this, because it could be double used. You get to put everything out of sight and you can utilize this to enjoy your outdoor area. You can see the whole decking runs the length of this area here. You've got your beautiful pool with its stepping stones. And the cool thing about this pool, if you take a look at it, right out the backside of this cinema room, it slopes in with no need for any stairs, which is something we've never seen on the show before. Also, another cool feature is behind this rock wall is a generator. So the home does run off grid. You've got a generator far enough from the house for not to disturb you, but this is easily one of the coolest cinema rooms we've seen and definitely one of the most multi-purpose. Just out of the cinema room, however, we've got a little bit more because you've got your very own outdoor cooking area. Let's go take a look at it next. Leaving the cinema behind, we come to the toilet I mentioned earlier, just behind this frosted glass door. 
Opening it up, you've got a single vanity, walk-in shower as well as toilet. It's a really cool feature to have. Not many houses, regardless of price point, come with an outdoor bathroom. And then here we are with your outdoor cooking area, which is also a very, very nice thing to have, but we'd see it far, far more often. Gas fry with a flue that keeps all the smoke away from your indoor spaces. You've got those speakers in the ceiling, down lighting, and then enough space here for quite a comfortable seating arrangement. You can see the three different armchairs here with the center table. You can sit down, enjoy a quick meal with the family, and really enjoy the beautiful views that this landscaped garden's got. Heading back inside, you come through a set of sliding glass doors immediately into your bar which is perfectly placed because you definitely want your bar near your outdoor areas and this bar i think is done so well like the rest of the home you can see the owner knows what he's doing when it comes to architecture and design you've got all this warm wood down lighting leds some mirrors and stunningly lit display cabinetry all the way through and I think those are the different types of features that work so well in a bar. You've got this high area here with the chairs behind it, a low spot here for you to whip up your favorite drinks, and then not one, but two different built-in fridges. You've also got wine racks and a chef's prep sink over there. Heading around, we get to explore what's on the other side of that fireplace, that double fireplace we saw early right next to the dining room area. Well, you've got this relaxation zone. You can sit down, enjoy a nice glass of wine, and definitely enjoy that crackling fireplace, which I think everybody right now in the middle of a South African winter really wishes they had in their house. If you've got one in yours, I envy you. But for the summer times, aircon's right here, and this is your kitchen. Now, an incredibly well-equipped kitchen. Let me start here. I'll slowly make my way to that side, and then we'll talk about what's behind me. But we've got all this cabinetry as well as open counter space. If you're into entertaining lots of people, you've got all this open space. I really like the cupboards just above it, which are on gas hinges and open up nice and smoothly. Then we've got more cupboard space right over here and behind me. But the center island is where all the magic happens. Massive island and again a nice raised area if anybody's sitting here enjoying a breakfast or meal while you're cooking. You've got a chip fry or a deep fry grill. You've got a teppanyaki gas grill right over here with the with the coals or the stones right over there, those lava rocks. You've got a five top gas burner with a stainless steel extractor fan, all of them being melee. Then behind me, even more really cool things. To end off the center island, you've got your chef sink with one of those really cool taps that you can use an on and off switch at the top here. So you just basically set your temperature, say I want it there, and you open it up and you use it to start and you use it to stop. You never need to worry about the wrong temperature coming out the tap. Then more melee appliances on this side. You've got a coffee machine, an oven, as well as a microwave all built in. And then this here is your fridge. Now, it may not come with a home, but it is very cool when you get to do that and take a look at what's in your fridge. It's a lifestyle, guys. It is definitely a very nice lifestyle. Over here, you've got a pass-through section. So you can put up all your food here, pass it through, go straight to the dining room area or you can at least interact with the people in the kitchen and then your very own wine fridge with a coffee area. But no real kitchen area is complete without your pantry, laundry area, full on kitchenette and then dry goods storage, all of which this home has. Full size sink, under counter storage for three different appliances and then another section where you store your dry goods. You can also have another freezer in there. So from a practical perspective, this room definitely ticks all the boxes. That, however, wraps up the whole downstairs area of this incredible home. It's time for us to go straight back to the beginning and take a journey up that set of stairs and see what the other bedrooms in this home look like. Heading upstairs, you really get to enjoy the double volume ceilings and take in those three chandeliers hanging there. But you come immediately into a pajama lounge. On my right hand side, you've got a bit of an office with two bedrooms flanking the left and right wing, the master suite just here, and then the gym over there. So how we're gonna do this is we can explore this pajama lounge, head off to that bedroom, then that one, then the gym, then off, last but not least, the master suite. 
But now that we're here in the pajama lounge, let's talk about it. It is beautifully placed between the four bedrooms located upstairs as well as the gym area. And it is also very spacious. Take a look at this beautiful L-shaped couch sitting right in the center. And then just off to my left, you've got a gas fireplace recessed into a dark tile feature wall. Behind me, a TV, and on my right-hand side, a feature I don't think we ever see enough in pajama lounges, specifically in big houses, is a spot for you to do some kitchen work or kitchen prep. You've got a chef sink here, plug points, your kettle. So if you'd like to whip up a steaming mug of hot chocolate, take a seat, watch your favorite TV show, and put on the gas fireplace, this is the room for you. Now, however, it's time to explore the bedrooms. The first one is in that corner. Let's go. Just before we reach the first bedroom, you've got a nice office area over here. Big table fits in the center, massive windows with so much natural light coming in and an incredible view through these windows as well, which I think is very cool. Space for a TV, air conditioning, and then these built-in cupboard space really do make it perfect for an office. Coming through this frosted glass door is the first bedroom we're looking at upstairs. Immediately you're greeted by your ensuite bathroom with a huge walk-in shower, beautiful frosted glass window letting in tons of natural light, really setting off all the white tones in the bathroom. You've got your single vanity as well as toilet. And I love how every single bedroom in this home comes with its very own unique featured wall in the bathroom. This one is that textured white wall and it sets off the tone of all the rooms so nicely. The bedroom, however, continues the theme that we've seen throughout this house. Practicality, spaciousness, and immaculate finishing. We've got cupboards on both sides of the room, a built-in study area right next to a window, a beautiful glass door that opens out onto a balcony that looks out onto the front of the house, air conditioning, down lighting, and even LEDs. There isn't a single thing in this bedroom that someone wouldn't love to have in the room. And I also love how all the bedrooms come with these. It's a lamp as well as a reading lamp, and each of them work individually, although sometimes the switches are in different places. So if you want to just read, you can adjust it, and every single bedroom in the home comes with one of those. Such a cool feature. Now, it is time for us to take a look at bedroom number two, three, the gym area, and the master suite. Your second bedroom is easily the sister of the first. Beautifully well equipped with plenty of space. It's very own air con, down lighting, windows letting in tons of natural light, built in cupboards, as well as a really nice study nook that also has some cupboards next to it. This bedroom, however, does come with its very own private balcony looking out onto the front of the house. In terms of bathroom amenities, you've got a walk-in ensuite bathroom with a beautiful shower, freestanding bathtub, toilet, and single vanity. And continuing the theme of well-equipped bathrooms and bedrooms, here is the third one. Beautiful built-in cupboards, this time in a darker material. I love the tiles running the length of the bedroom. In terms of ceiling space, down lighting, air conditioning, two windows looking out onto a private part of the garden. And then your ensuite bathroom comes with a walk-in shower, freestanding bathtub, toilet, and single vanity. In the corner of your pajama lounge sits this area right here, a beautiful indoor gym area with two sliding doors that open up onto a balcony that wraps all the way to the master suite. Now, what I'd say the killer feature of this room is, is without a doubt your very own sauna. Opening up to beautiful pine backlighting. You can sit here, sweat away all your worries, and an LCD screen right over here allows you to set your temperature, control the lighting, and also see what temperature it is currently inside the sauna. 
What an epic feature for an incredible home. Now, however, it is time. We've waited long enough. We're gonna take a look at the master suite. Come with me. And here we are finally within the master suite of this incredible 16 and a half million rand home here in Mayersdal Eco Estate. And I'd like to point out a couple of things right off the bat. The room is obviously absolutely massive and there are some really incredible design choices that were used in this room. First and foremost are the windows. There's two sets of high level windows making the room feel like a penthouse suite. You've got doors that open outward onto your balcony and that balcony comes with also a really cool design choice is frosted glass panels that provide you quite a bit of privacy from the surrounding homes. The room is so big you've got a full on AV center here complete with cupboards and space for you to mount your TV. There's space for a desk if you do want to work from your bedroom ever so often. Two chairs as well as a dressing table right over here and the room is so well done. I love the bulkhead ceiling and how that interacts with those high level windows. Behind me, that is your walk-in closet as you can see. And this time it's something different. It's where you can display your favorite outfits, your best shoes, your nicest handbags. All of them can be put there and interact so well with the dark wood and the paneling at the bottom. Now, this walk-in wardrobe is L-shaped and leads directly onto the ensuite master bathroom. And let's take a look. And here it is, the master suite, the master bathroom, huge ceilings, the speakers in the ceilings, the down lights, but also your very own chandelier hanging right above the centerpiece of this bathroom. And that is a freestanding bathtub recessed into its very own alcove. Yeah, again, you can see that featured design of the walls with the marble tiling. It's got a double vanity that shares a mirror, beautiful faucets plug points and then a walk-in shower with dark frosted glass and then a toilet tucked away neatly in a corner really does make this bathroom without a doubt the epitome of luxury but that also brings us to the end of this incredible home tour so follow me as we talk about how you can become this home's next owner Unfortunately, we've come to that time of the show where we need to talk about how you can become the next owner of this incredible home. Now, if all the boxes have been ticked as you took this tour with us, what I'd like you to do is contact Nuno from Law Real Estate. All of his details are in the link in the description below. But let's recap some of the incredible features we've seen so far. Five bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, an incredible cinema room, kitchen, and each individual room handcrafted by the builder of this home, which is also the home's only owner. You know that this home has an incredible sense of detail all throughout it, and I think any new owner of this home will find immediately an incredible sense of elegance and a home that has been built to match. But if this home isn't for you, make sure you visit www.privateproperty.co.za as we showcase homes across the whole end of the spectrum and you will definitely find your next home there. But for myself, Chad Riveros, the team at the Private Property Home Shopper Show, thank you so much for tuning in and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to us both on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram so that you never miss us touring some of South Africa's most most incredible homes. We'll see you next time every Friday. Goodbye.